Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today we're gonna do something really productive and uh, I'm currently working on my dad's Mercedes W123 and right now my main project is uh, refreshing the CV axles right here. So this is one of them, all right? Uh, and as you can see, when they age, the, um, they actually, no, the boots actually crack. This one's actually split a little bit right here. Okay, but uh, overall they're just like really old and cracked, you know? So we're gonna be refreshing them today, putting new grease in there uh cleaning it and also you know changing the boots and uh, after that i'm gonna actually uh, uh paint these up i'm gonna wire wheel you know all the dirt and rust off we're gonna clean them up and then we're gonna paint them it's gonna be really nice so i already rebuilt one of them and this is the second one um so i didn't film the first one so that's why today i just decided to you know take you guys along and show you how this is done it's actually pretty easy uh, it took me probably maybe like 20 minutes to do one one axle. It's actually really awesome. So stay tuned. I'll show you the special tool that I'm using and the boots. And yeah, stay tuned and enjoy the video. All right, guys. So uh, we have these flexible boots that I'll be using, um, you know, to replace the old ones. They're actually really nice. And I'm going to be using these boots uh, along with a really nice special tool that I'll show you later to ins for the installation. Okay, and the kit also came with uh, um, new clamps right here. Okay, so we have clamps for both boots, both CV joints. So it actually included two uh, grease packets, but you know, I'm just that kind of person that I really like to add a lot more grease to the joints. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna also add, uh, you know, um, I'm gonna obviously use these packets, but I'm also gonna add a lot more grease. Um, and this is a special grease. Uh, this is for wheel bearings and actually it is uh, also, um, compatible with the constant velocity uh, joints so you can use that for the CV axle joints so that's what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this along with those two packets I have new clamps and as well as those two new boots so it's pretty exciting uh, let's get started Alright guys, so I cleaned everything up, like the axle, as much as I could from all the dirt and junk. So right now we're going to start removing uh, these axle boots. So these axle boots are pretty bad. But the reason why I have this, the whole uh, half shaft on the garbage is because this, um, you know, from the factory, actually Mercedes used um, fluid inside of the CV joints, you know, so that's why once you open these up, this one's fine. This one has no fluid because it all leaked out. But this one, I'm pretty sure that once I open this boot up, there's going to be fluid leaking out. Okay. Um, so that's why I'm using this garbage. So I don't have a lot of spills, but long story short, let's go ahead and open this up. Um, you know, just clamps and I'm using just uh, side cutters to do all that. So it's going to be a pretty simple and quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and start breaking off these clamps because we don't need them. Okay. One of them. Okay, same thing with this. You need to be a little patient with all this. There you go. Like I said, we have new clamps, so we don't need the old ones. All right, and right now I'm gonna be really careful. I don't wanna introduce any dirt anywhere inside, so, but I'm gonna go ahead and peel this boot. And look at that. You see that? Look at all that grease, not grease, but fluid. It came out, it's still leaking out, okay? All right, so after a little bit, the fluid is pretty much done draining, but what I'm saying is you just have to make sure that this, uh, uh, you know, you're aware that there's usually oil inside of these joints. These classic Mercedes, they, they always, uh, they use oil from the factory. So uh, these axles are, I'm pretty sure 34, 40 years old. And they probably, these boots have never been changed before because usually when the boots get changed, people don't really put fluid in there. The fluid is there from the factory, but uh, these ones, they have fluid. So that means they're uh, original. They're like 30, 40 years old. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna cut this boot off. Uh, I'm gonna take it all off and same thing with this one. And we're gonna start prepping everything for, you know, to put new grease in there and all that stuff, so. Let's go ahead, start 
cutting this boot. If you have something like, for example, a razor blade, that works too. Okay. Another thing is these are original, so they're gonna have these rings here. You don't need the ring, you can cut it off. Okay, and then just keep cutting this boot. Okay, almost there. So here's the boot. We don't need this anymore. You can throw it away. Okay. Now we have one of these. And there's still some fluid inside, so you can drain it out like this. Just like so. And just be careful, clean all this area right away. Just so you don't introduce any dirt anywhere. Keep it all nice and clean. Very good. more move it around like this all right cool I'm gonna let it drain some more in a little bit now I'm gonna do the same with this one I'm just gonna take it off but like I said the fluid has drained out already on this thing because the boot is literally torn apart so I'm just gonna take these off Really strong German clamp. Amazing. Okay. Like so. Now. Clean some of this. Start cutting. And that's it. That's the old boot. And that's it. So we're just literally left with this thing right here, this axle. Now I'm going to clean some more of this area, make sure it's all nice and clean. There's no dirt. Looking at the internals of the CV joint, uh, both of them look great. I know any issues, nothing at all. Okay, just you want to inspect them for rust and inspect them for um, just dirt and anything in that nature. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is one of the joints. And what I'm going to do is I'm about to start uh, putting a new grease in there. Uh, it's pretty awesome. You know, this joint is going to receive a lot of grease like all the other joints or the CV axles. The more grease, the better. Uh, so I'm going to start feeding new grease into these joints. Another good tip is if you want, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, put gasoline in here and let it soak. Uh, but I'm not going to do it in this case because they're all pretty clean and there's just some residual automatic trans fluid in there. So that's fine, I already drained all of it out pretty much. So what I'm gonna do, just gonna add new grease to both of the joints. And like I said before, they're gonna make sure everything's clean, clean all the area off. And you have to make sure that there's no rust or there's no grease. If there's rust in there, just go ahead and uh, use gasoline and soak it in the gasoline. And then you might need to use like some rust dissolver or might need to use like a rag and try to like get in there and clean it out, you know, um, before you decide to go ahead and uh, remove this whole joint but like i said this is a really quick job so i'm not gonna waste my time right now to do all that uh, 
So yeah, I'm just gonna start putting new grease in there. All right, now it's the time for us to put this grease. So I'm gonna start with the packet. Okay, I'm gonna put the packet in there. Packet of grease. All right. Nice grease. And remember, this is gonna be the part that's the most messy, the messiest part, if that's the word. <laughs> because Lila, you're gonna be working this grease right in. Make sure your gloves are clean or your hands before you do that. It's really important. Okay, right now we're just literally gonna be feeding this grease in. So squeeze all the grease in there, the more the better. That's why I was telling you I have extra grease because I think that one packet per joint is not enough. That's why I'm gonna add more than that. All right, so the grease. All right. And then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to move this joint a little bit around. Literally just work everything in. So, okay, this way. Some angles might be uncomfortable, but you have to make sure that it's all greased up. It's got plenty of grease, all right? All right, so this is one packet right there. So if you film, if you come closer, you see that there's, you know, it's not really enough, like for me, for myself personally. So that's why I'm gonna use extra grease. Okay, I have this extra grease. I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally take it and literally feed the grease in, okay? And I'm gonna add a lot of grease in here. And then I'm obviously gonna move it around here and there, like so. You're gonna hear some popping, which is okay. Do that, move it in and out, all right, and then same thing, you know, just keep on working this grease in. The more grease, the better, like I said, never too much grease. And these joints will last another 100 years after this, all right. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep working on this thing, and I'm gonna do the same to the other joint, and then after that, we're gonna proceed to uh, our boot installation. All right, so we have the CV joints and they're all greased up. Lots of grease in there, both joints, all right? So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install our boots right now. All right guys, so this is the special tool that I will be using. Um, this is called a, a CV axle boot gun. It's actually a really nice tool. Um, and what it has is it has these jaws. And uh, the only thing is you need the air source for this. So we'll, that's why we are using a different vise right now. And we're gonna be using a, uh, an air hose to connect to this tool. And then uh, this tool is actually gonna help us uh, install the uh, CV boot on this axle. But this axle is heavy duty axle. This is from a classic Mercedes. So it's actually the joint itself is a lot bigger. So um, this uh, tool is still gonna work on this joint. Uh, we'll be able to replace the axle uh, boot. But the thing is that uh, these tools or this tool in particular, because they actually make, make a lot of these uh, different ones. Uh, but uh, this one uh, is actually, it works really good on like smaller axles. Like so for example, if you have like a Honda Civic that has a really tiny uh, CV joint, it's gonna be really easy for you to install this thing. But this, even though this CV joint or CV axle itself is big, it's from Mercedes W123, you're still gonna be able to do it. So I'm about to show you how this is done. It's actually pretty cool. You have, uh, literally, we have the flexible uh, CV boot right here. I'm just gonna install it like this onto here. And then I'm just gonna, obviously when I have the air connected, I'm gonna press the button. This is gonna expand and then I'll be able to slide this thing over. And like I said, this axle is a lot uh, you know, bigger. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a pain, uh, but we'll still be able to get it done. It's, it's actually a really uh, cool tool. I really love this thing so much. And what it has, it also has these jaws. And these jaws, are actually, um, you know, they're um, not sharp uh, right here, which is really good. It's really important that they're not sharp 
at the end on uh, on the end itself so it's not going to cause any issues it's not going to rip our boot or anything like that all right so here's our tool here's it okay just like that so let me just demonstrate to you how this works all right this is all connected right now so i'm gonna press the button and you see what it does it's pretty cool stuff and that will allow us to actually go through here and install this cd boot and then you can release the air by pressing another button right here it releases the air so let's try it out like i said this is uh this axle is a little bigger um but it's still gonna work it's we'll still be able to install this we're just gonna have to as soon as this boot goes through we're just gonna have to feed it off of these jaws manually so i'll show you what i'm talking about but anyways the boot is now on so come closer um okay so i'm about to press the button okay see what it does sometimes you have to press a little more than that okay and now i'm just gonna feed it through okay okay i'm just trying to press these jaws like I said, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna have to press the button a little more. Nah, just like that. Just a little bit more. It's almost there. I'm gonna press the button a little more, just to get a little extra air. Just like that, all right? See that? Now I'm gonna release the air. Okay, but as you can see what happened here is uh, uh, this, the, the jaws cannot come down all the way uh, because this axle is just really big. So now I have to just reposition it really quick. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to feed this boot off manually, all right? But it's fine. It's actually pretty simple, it's not hard. Just do it like this, and don't worry, nothing is gonna happen to the boot itself, it will be fine. Okay, just gonna have to go around like this. Just feed it off. Like I said, if you have like a Honda Civic with a small axle or CV joints, it's a lot easier and faster, but still, even with the axle like this, it's not a big deal. It's pretty simple. Okay, I'm just gonna work this thing off. Okay. I should go all the way around. Just gotta be patient. And that's what I was talking that these jaws have, they don't have sharp ends, so we're not gonna hurt our boot or anything. Okay. So, a few more. There you go. All right, so now, as you can see, our amazing boot is on, and that's it. Okay, so I really love this tool. Like I said, I'm gonna uh, leave a link down below and everything. Um, now what we have left is not much. I'm just gonna add a little more grease before I install this boot. But then I'll just gonna, I'm just gonna slide this thing on and we're almost done, guys. It's, it's pretty simple, actually. It's pretty awesome. It's basically gonna sit like this, kind of, and I'm just gonna have to install a couple clamps. All right, but first I'm gonna do this other joint and do the same procedure on that and uh yeah i'll show you how to um you know install the clamps at the end it's pretty simple it's nothing hard you know um but this just goes through okay push it all the way through and then uh you have to actually feed this boot off of uh this thing just because this thing is really big so if you have like a mercedes w126 it's probably going to be uh that axle uh joint is actually going to be a little bigger than a w123 uh excellent joint. so it's gonna be a little more tough but it's still doable okay uh pretty cool stuff guys
saves so much time. And we're also what you can do is obviously you can order a kit, a CV boot kit with factory boots. And uh, you know, they're gonna give you these cups as well as, uh, you know, a hardware and clamps. Uh, and you can actually, you know, just change these cups right here. But uh, you know, to save time right now, um, this is my actually really favorite method of replacing these CV axle boots. All right, so this boot is installed. That's how it looks, okay. And then we're gonna put a clamp right over here. If you want, you can cut this section right here, this uh, with the razor blade, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. And this is where you're supposed to put the clamp, okay. Right in this spot. And then also right here. So I'm gonna put these clamps on and I'm gonna use the tool to actually crimp them, so. All right, after you installed your clamps, just gonna use like side cutters. Just gonna crimp them. This is not the right tool. You should have the, the crimping tool, but that's all that I have today. There you go. Look at that, it's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere, good. I'm gonna do the same with this one. All right, so we installed this axle and the other axle. And don't pay attention, I'm gonna remove that tape because I was painting the axle. And also right there, if you look, both C-clips are installed, all right? The maintenance surface of the differential is clean, so I'm about to apply sealant to it and reseal it. And also, don't pay attention to that joint, I'm gonna uh, reinstall it into the hub really soon. Alright guys, so I rebuilt the axles on this W126 like two years ago and I'm about to show you the condition of the axle boots and how they are just so you have an idea okay and um you know like i said you can um also check out uh, the description there's going to be uh links to videos on how to remove the axles and things like that all right guys so here are the axle boots this one and that one and like i said i changed them two years ago and everything so they look great, no issues with that. I'm really happy and excited. And like I said, it was a really simple, easy job. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for supporting Vito's Garage. It's going to be a lot more videos coming up, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this video helps you out, you know, save classic Mercedes. And like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this procedure that I showed you in this video works on any car pretty much. Okay, so you can actually apply this procedure to Mercedes, BMW, Honda, whatever other cars. So anyways, guys, it's getting late. It's actually past midnight, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.